Howdy folks, how are you all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 16, the adventure extravaganza of our lifetimes, where today we are joining Clyde... Clive? Clive Wyvern, which is an interesting name for the young man. We never really did get clarification on why that name was chosen, but it was given to us by our commander, who we slaughtered in the previous installment, so... I mean, if there's, like, fond, friendly memories there... God bless, they're firmly in the past. We're here with Sid now in The Hideaway, where someone who looked familiar, I definitely thought it was the guy from earlier in the game, like one of the earliest uh, installments, who was carrying apples around based on the hair color and the clothing, but I could be wrong, it might not be him. Uh, but this grumpy curmudgeon has requested that we go speak with uh, Taria in the infirmary to hopefully get some, I guess, healing herbs and spices, 11 herbs and spices to help heal the guy up here. But also this is where our best friend is who we rescued last time. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions once she's recovered. Yeah, but there's a guy right, dying in the lobby. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? You started talking I did say as that. soon as I walked up. When, when would I have had the opportunity to explain the situation to you? I think this is definitely on her more than me. Is my man holding the candle gonna next to him? Right. What's he gonna do? To rub some wax on his wounds to stop the bleeding? My work's just begun. As far as I know, she's done nothing. She just stood there next to the man with the candle who actually did all the work. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh. And thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today. And we won't forget it. I will forget you, though, Otto. I've already forgetted what- forgetted <laughs> how to speak is what I forgetted. Oh yeah, no, Nan over here seems like she might be a little bit, like, grumpy. Keep an eye out for a green icon above the heads of certain NPCs. These indicate they have a quest to offer. A list of current and completed quests can be viewed on the journal in the tab on the main menu. After accepting a quest, quest objectives will appear in the to-do list located to the right side of the screen. Objectives for the main quest scenario, as well as three side quests, can be displayed simultaneously. Any quest can be prioritized on the journal tab in the main menu by highlighting it and pressing X. Objectives for prioritized quests will remain displayed on the to-do list until the quest is completed or another quest is given priority. Priority status for a quest can be removed. By highlighting it and pressing X again. The following hideaway facilities are now available. So we have the Thousand Tomes, an ever-growing compendium of all things Velestia, and the Orchestrion? Oh, the Orchestrion. Personalized jukebox for songs collected throughout the game. That's fun. Both are located in the hideaway's eatery, the Fat Chocobo, and can be found on the local map by pressing the big button in the middle of the controller. These people. Yeah, there's a lot of folks around here. And apparently there's a number of side quests. I see a total of two so far, which I guess we can go ahead and just, like, get those queued up and started, even if we don't immediately do them. But let's talk to Nan here. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? Were we making demands? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive... I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. I appreciate Don't it. I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. 
Thank you for watching him. Will the dog be joining so, us in adventures? Were you going to buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. I think we better pay up. She seems pretty serious about this. Both consumable items and gear can be purchased at shops around Valestia. Uh, Valestia? Uh, shop stock changes as the story progresses, so be sure to check in frequently. I will forget. Oh, a broadsword! That's way better than the Imperial Infinity uh, Infantry Blade that we currently have. But are there, like, downsides? It looks like it's all just up and, and positive. This seems like it's going to be a no-brainer purchase. This is also better than what we currently have, which is a bit of a down... Well, no, I'll tell you what. I mean, how is that better than the Iron Bracers? You know what? Before That's we awesome. buy anything, we should probably check well, our inventory. A guilty name. Listen. Don't get sassy with me. You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. Does this dog not look like Wolf Link? All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank you, dog. Thank you, Link. I appreciate it. This is an incredible crossover. This is fantastic. <laughs> it's a bit weird now knowing that he is, in fact, a little boy turned into a, uh, a dog. The reason we didn't buy anything back there, though, is I wanted to check what's actually inside of my gear slots and see if maybe I just have better things that I haven't yet equipped. So that is the best sword we have. That is currently the best belt that we have. That's the belt that we upgraded. And then we can definitely replace these bracers because we didn't have what it took to upgrade those anyway. Should we go ahead and just get the free supplies though? I mean, what are we getting here? Rece retrieve sacks. Oh? Is this normal? Does this normally happen here? Okay, the art stone is now accessible. The customizable virtual battlescape provides Clive a safe location to test new abilities and train against all manner of enemies. Additional options will become available as Clive progresses through the story. Interesting, the Hall of Virtue. I don't really need to train right now, thanks, but I see that you're giving me no other option than to participate in this nonsense. So I suppose we'll progress with it. You know what I've noticed about this so far? No loading screens. Or at least the ones that are there are like, Real snappy. This is a big upgrade from Final Fantasy VII Remake. You know what we've not done yet so far in this game? Is squeeze through a tight space so that the space ahead of us can be loaded in. And I could go the rest of my life without ever having to do that, thanks. The Hall of Virtue is a fully customizable battlescape that provides Clive safely- Yeah, we already read all of this. What exactly are we doing here? Just fighting guys? Beautiful. It's over. Mortal blow. How long does this go for? Wow. How about uh, can I can I leave at any time or is this like forever? I really didn't even want to come here in the first place. I was just given no choice. Rip in pieces. Can I go now? <laughs> Will you let me leave? Is there a way to leave this space? Am I stuck here forever? Return of- it, Really? What if this never ends? What if this is just a never-ending stream of goblins that I just have to keep beating up? I don't want to do that. I've already lost interest in this endeavor. Let me go back. Take me back. They're not that hard to fight. Is that maybe the way out over there? Yeah, 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 I see you. Hold on, that looks like a... Like maybe something we could touch and it'll take us out of here. Training options. Oh, here we go. Into training. Yeah, get me out of here. I get the general idea. I can fight goblins. Thank you. Probably useful, because I'm bad at video games, so I definitely probably need a place Hold to train. On. I mean, in a broad sense, I'm technically ready to go, but... Mm. Leaving already. Ah, yeah. 
It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop your going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Cheers to you, sir. Use the world map to instantly travel to previous unlocked locations. New locations are unlocked by progressing through the main story or discovering waymarks known as obelisks. The world map will open automatically upon leaving an area, but can also be accessed at any time via the main menu. Nice. Well, I'm not actually ready to go because now that we know, we do want to come back over here yes. and buy yes. ourselves a better sword. How, hold on, how much money do we have? Gil, 516. So we got to choose. Do we want the iron bracers or do we want the sword? The sword's not a huge upgrade. The iron bracers is also not really a huge upgrade. I bet you, Finished, are you if we didn't upgrade either of those, the next time we come back, we might have enough gold to uh, like upgrade even further and get even more. And I'm kind of tempted to also just not do the main story right now and kind of stick around here and see what all these little side quests are all about. Like, what is Big Fella doing here? Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? Uh, fetch wood for the carpenter. Zero, does this mean I'm not going to make any money off of it? Is that what the zero gill symbol means? I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. Takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, uh, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake. The but Fallen. Even their handiwork lasts forever. Is the Fallen the, the ancient civilization? Sure That's... Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first fallen. harvest now, can we? <laughs> Did they cause the blight? No, I suppose Ooh. not. Ooh. Alright, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. Quest accepted. Yeah, go ahead and prioritize that. Why not? I can't wait for the twist to be that this is future Earth. They wouldn't do that in a Final Fantasy game, though, right? Like, actual Earth has never existed in a Final Fantasy game. I assume what it actually is going to be that is that at one point, this civilization had, like, this massive, thriving empire, but then somehow destroyed it by science and all the magic that we think we have is Excuse actually just me. descended from that science the in some way. The man over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, this not is going to be a very simple quest. This is like the ultimate fetch quest. It's walk ten feet, grab planks, carry them back. Do we actually we physically are. carry the planks? No, they're just magically in our inventory. Okay, yeah, this is going to be super simple then. Yeah, no, it was Jeffrey. You're absolutely correct. Uh, I even remember exactly where he was because it was mere seconds ago. And I'm concerned that you don't remember Clive. It's it's a bit concerning. Hello, Jeffrey. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. No, not at all. Here's a plank. I was just keeping it in my pocket. Will this be enough? It would be this great if he cut nicely, back to him and he was just holding the plank. With plane. a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to... That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. What exactly did he give us? Because I was under the impression we wouldn't be earning anything from this quest. Oh, okay. We got a meteorite and we got a gill bug. Contrary to popular belief, this small insect does not get its name from its appearance, but rather the fact that it is highly sought after by psych... psych... Uh, f f f physicers? 
Fisickers? I have no idea how to say that word. Uh, for use in brewing medicine in summer. When I don't really care all that badly. Honestly, they're both just like crafting material. Thank you so much. Thank you ever so much. Well, that was a fun quest. Really enjoyed getting to know Joffrey. I'm sure, or, or Jeffrey even. Heaven help us, not Joffrey. Hopefully, that'll come up again in the future, and the, the friendship we forged with him will lead to something. Actually, if we have a look at the map, where was he? Was he, like, right here? So maybe that unlocks the way to Sid's soul. Well, we can already get there from around here. This will be a shortcut, maybe, is what we're unlocking. One can hope. What about you there, sir? Ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strongbox and my enduring gratitude. I mean, what's in the strongbox? 500 g Now we can get both of the things from the store without any guilt. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful. They're hot. Is this going to be a mini game where I actually have to, like, balance them? Because I'd be very much on board for that. I have a strong suspicion that no, they're all just going to go into my pack magically. Oh, meal. Yeah, that's unfortunate. How long has it been? They're all literally, like, right around here as well. We'll start with this one in the back, because I feel like they don't get much love tucked away back here out of sight. This is the place the waitress forgets to take the, like, the water pitcher or the, the sweet tea pitcher. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. Clive has great dad energy. It's like, make sure you eat your food before it gets cold. Keep reading up on your, your schoolwork. Become a good little farmer. We're actually going to them, ignore them and go straight to this individual and deliver their food first. Here's hope I don't regret it. Yeah. This man has an interestingly large nose. Like, it's not absurdly large, oh, it's just a bit bulbous for his face. thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. You left me half lame, truth be told. Well, I think your other half is cool. Took me in nonetheless. The hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. Oh, bless. I wish you all the best in the world. Lame bearer. <laughs> we could have given the man a name here. Your food. That is not where we were standing when I started this interaction. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. That's right. We're living in a proper capitalist system now, and I'm about That's to get paid one. 500 gil for now. delivering three soups. I think the economy here might be a little bit broken. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? I'd say so. Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? 
The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. I'm gonna go buy a sword. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Nice. Our first grand. We also got a little bit of a crafting material. See, this is well worth the effort. Countless treasure coffers lie across the realm just waiting to be plundered. If you find one, don't hesitate to kick it open with X to reap the bounty. Go on, no one's looking. Wait. So there's like bonus reward? A badge of metal. Nifty. Awesome. Let's go back to old Nan and we'll see what we can get now. And then we'll prepare to actually and what head do out. You want? I would like to browse your toe. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. What have we got here? Give me this nice sword. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I don't think so. I've paid you a fair price. The the, the now these are a little bit expensive. I'll be a honest. Price than that. No, I I don't think so either. That's like nothing. You you want to buy? The, the, you're you're offering me some very very poor deals here. Fifth, no. I'm not. No, I'm keeping it. Shrek you. If we need something in the future, we can come back and sell it. But in the meantime, I guess we have to manually equip that stuff. So let's swap out the... Oh, no, it looks like it automatically equipped the new broadsword, as well as the iron bracers. Now... Oh, wait, no, don't do that. How do I unequip that? Unequip. Uh, oh, well, actually, hold on. So that's different from these. These are like the ring of timely nonsense. These are like little cheaty crystals, cheaty crystals that help make the game a little bit easier where uh, Clive will automatically evade attacks as long as the attack can be evaded. Like, these are useful things if, um, you know, like me, you're bad at video games, but unlike me, you're willing to admit it. Me? I live my life in constant denial of how bad I am. I'm going to keep trying. This, though, this just looks like a regular old accessory. The strength of the city is defined by the guard that mans its walls. The strength of a city guard is defined by the pride in their hearts and the laurels on their breasts. This badge provides the wearer with one of the two. Defense increased by 10. Yeah, I'll certainly wear that. And um, we'll keep it at that. I would be interested to see if we could like get rid of these so I don't accidentally equip them and end up being a little bit like cheaty. But I'm perfectly happy to leave them in our inventory. Can we, like, customize well, any of the stuff we've recently gotten? I'd like to use sure. the forge, please, if you don't mind. So, we can upgrade the iron bracers, which I'm pretty sure are what we just bought. And we can upgrade the broadsword even further. So, let's go ahead and do oh, that. Bad. If I do say so myself. Oh, no, that was crafting. Oh, no, I'm a moron. I just crafted a broadsword when I also just bought a broadsword. Well, <laughs> darn it. I can upgrade this one, though, fortunately. It's so a broadsword yeah, plus two. You. I'm such a bozo. I should have checked that first. I can also upgrade the iron bracers, but they won't be as good as these that I also Anything already else? have. I'm very confused. Let's go back. Can we just like sell that extra sword that we just crafted for no reason? Oh my gosh, what a fool. Shame we can't just like reload a previous save. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and sell that. You got out else? This is not the one that I currently have equipped, I don't think. Yeah, that's the one I have equipped. This one's, yeah, 200. I oh. reckon I can find a buyer. Ugh, whatever. Uh, go ahead and sell this. I'll be thankful you got that much. Go ahead and sell. Uh, yeah, you go ahead and sell. Else? I don't think I've made any horrible mistakes. I think finished, we're good. Are you? I'm finished for now. Should we have it like a chat? I see yes. that we have an option to talk what? and ask about. Taking an interest, are you? Uh, wondering why such a comely culture lady would la cast her lot with this rabble. Because she's got a special arrangement with the rabble rouser, that's why. I scratched his back. He scratches mine. They mean that literally. They get freaky at night. He used my old trading connections to bring in whatever him and his little band need, and they pay what I ask. The deal. He's given me a home here, far from prying eyes of those who wish me ill, and there's no shortage of them, believe you me. All right, well, we have a little bit... Uh, he'd dead if he had any sense, but he won't, because he doesn't. Bless. I think we can finally now safely head out. Unless we want to... It doesn't look like there's any more side quests. And I'm sure we could talk to other people and learn new things. But I think that for the time being, we're going to go ahead and pursue the main quest. How do I actually, like, make the decision that that's what we're going to do? If I go to my journal, maybe? Oh! Apparently we do it from here. I guess is what we probably end up having to do. What if I do go to my journal, though? Is that, like, currently... I mean, it's the only thing we're doing, so I guess it's assigned as the main thing. All right! Onward to the Great Wood! 
Uh, hold on, I didn't read about this. So, so deep and vast is the Great Wood. It serves as a defensive barrier between the Crystal Belt and the Holy Empire, while where while its denizens deter foolhardy travelers from exploring the forest's everlasting night. Sounds freaky. I'm in.